I was cutting wood with my chainsaw and I noticed we have a new fungus. Now at first glance at the National Audubon Society's field guide to mushrooms, one might assume that this is Hen of the Woods. Although, note how in this picture the mushrooms have darker cores and lighter rims. On this, they have lighter cores and yellowish rims, including these pieces over here. So that leads me to believe that this is actually not Hen of the Woods. Another picture showing it more progressed. I do not know. They begin by shooting upwards in little nodules that reach for the sky. And they seem to fan out into much wider little mushrooms. Oh, that one's stuck. They've lifted this rock up. There is fur on the top side of these mushrooms. Smooth on the bottom. But I assume it wouldn't happen upside down too often. Ridges of hairs. And quite stiff, too. Ooh. Very well rooted. Mycelium can be seen on there. Oh, there we go. I do wonder if it could be growing upside down. Because there we have darker inner core and lighter outer core. That does seem closer to the hint of the woods. Hint of the Woods, large clustered mass of grayish brown fleshy spoon shaped caps with whitish pores and lateral white stalks branching from compound base. The Hint of the Woods is edible, but at least on here it says it grows from September to November. This is July. The coloring is off, overlapping flat fan to spoon shaped grayish to gray brown, dry, smooth, or fi finely fibrous or roughened. It's a bit yellowish. Habitat. On ground, a base of oak or other deciduous trees and some conifers, also stumps. Now, that is a red oak tree, but it's not at the base. It is actually on the wood itself. Lookalikes. Meripilus giganteus has large, thick fleshed shells, edges and pores bruised black. Polyporus umbrellatus has centrally stocked circular caps. P Illidens, only in Idaho, is yellowish and grows on the ground under conifers. These books are endless fun, but there isn't a limit to how many species they can show. Well, what do you think it could be? Maybe we can revisit this and I have better identification. Well, anyway, what fungus do you think it is?